Hi there, Mark Cunningham here, and in this video I'm going to show you a report you can use to help you measure your task performance in Zero projects. This video is part of a full series on Zero projects, so if you want to learn more, check out the link to the playlist in the description below. So let's jump into Zero now and see how it's done. So if you go to Accounting and Reports, and scroll down to Projects, and then go into the Projects Details Report, Okay, so I'll just run this report as is. I'll just click on update. And you can see here it's given us a whole lot of information, mostly financial information on each project. So what we need to do is just change the settings on this report to get what we want. And the main thing that we need to change is these columns. And what we're looking at is we want to look at the KPIs for the hours. So. We don't really need profit and actual, so we do want actual hours. And then we can get rid of some of this information. I'll just leave contact there for the moment. So we'll get rid of cost estimate. We do want estimated hours. We don't want the profit. I'll put the item code there and I'll leave that name there as well and the type. And then what else we need there is the remaining hours and we'll just get rid of these invoiced amounts down here. So what we're mainly trying to do is just have a look at the hours. So you've got your actual hours, your estimated hours and your remaining hours. Okay, so we'll do that and then we'll click on update. Okay, so what we're really looking at here are these columns over here for the hours. And what you're trying to do is just look at your tasks and see how much time you've actually spent on these tasks compared to the hours um, that you've estimated that you were going to spend. And the reason for that is that you want to see how good your estimates are. And you also just want to see what you're good at and what you're not good at. So if we take these first three here, you can see we estimated six hours for this AV setup and we actually booked six hours to that. So we've got no hours remaining. So that means we estimated it correctly. For the next one, we estimated 20 hours and we went a bit over that with 21.15. So that's why that's showing as a minus 1.15. So that was just a little bit of a poor estimate compared to the hours that we did there. And then finally, we've got eight hours estimated for lighting. We actually did seven. And so we've got one hour in the bank on that one. So what we're really looking at then is we need to see what we're good at. So this would tell you that we're pretty good at the lighting, particularly if that came out uh, even lower, and that maybe we're a little bit slower with the interior decoration than what we thought. And the reason for looking into these is particularly if we've got tasks that we repeat over and over again in our business, we want to see where we might actually be losing hours. And then we can either tighten up our processes and get better at it, or we can increase the estimates to our customers. So I've got this formatted at the moment um, by project there. So we, we can actually change that where we might just group it by none. And that way we just get a list of all of those tasks down here. And that's what we really want. So particularly where we've got things that we'll do over and over again. So if we were a tax preparation company, we would have this task on here lots and lots of times for different clients and we'll be able to see what we're good at and what we're not good at. So for this particular example here, I should also point out that I've just left the project state um, to be everything because we don't have much data here in the demo company to look at. But what you would really do is you would want to look mostly at, at the projects that are closed because obviously if they're draft, we haven't even started them yet. And if they're in progress, we might not have booked all the time to it yet that we're going to book. So if you run it closed, then these will be the actual numbers that you'll end up with. So the Main Street Cafe there, uh, for example, that database cleanup, we went two hours over time. So that's something that we can improve upon next time we do a database cleanup for a client. Okay, so that's a report that you can use to have a look at your tasks, have a look at the hours, and see where you're winning and see where you're losing and you might be able to make some improvements in your business or increase your estimates to your clients.